do-it-yourself webcam results next. Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today's topic is the webcam results. Now these results are this do-it-yourself planetary camera that I show how to make in part one. So if you haven't seen part one, go back and check it out. In this video, I, I'm going to show you the results, but I'm also going to show you what I use to capture it. And as I'm making this video, I really would appreciate any comments or suggestions on how to better use uh, a webcam for astrophotography. I've taken a few shots and I've got some pretty decent results uh, from this little $15 camera. Download the Logitech webcam software and we want to disable this LED light on the camera. Uh, we took off this little diffuser when we built it, but what we need to do now is we need to turn that off. And the way you turn it off is you go into the preferences and under preferences you'll see a tab for quick capture and then the LED control. Turn that off and then save that. Here's a little trick. Don't use the quick capture Logitech webcam software for capturing your videos. You still need the software because it has important camera controls that you have to use. But what happens is the Logitech webcam software by default outputs WMV files. These particular files are not used in uh, processing programs like Registax. So what you need to use is a program called WX Astro Capture. This particular software will record your webcam Logitech software in the important AVI format you need. Click this little star and name your object and uh, put whatever name you want say OK and then you get into the uh, camera and you want to connect it. Click connect and it will choose the camera and typically the camera will have a bunch of different resolutions uh, by the way it, this will support any kind of webcam you have so uh, if you don't have the C310 uh, you'll be able to use this software it's a very good software uh, the difference between 640 by 480 and the higher resolution which is the 1280 by 960 uh, the, the 1280 960 would be really good for when you're trying to find your target and once you found your target you can uh, pick a smaller uh, resolution and then you'll be able to get a higher uh, FPS and the higher frames per second will give you uh, typically better results and this examples that I did here today are uh, a few nights ago I did 1280 by 960 just say OK there and what it will do is it'll pull up the uh, the webcam controller and this is where you're gonna make all of your adjustments and that's why you need to install the webcam software just click on the advanced settings and it will pull up this window uh, the one thing you want to try to do is uh, do not check the right light that really interferes with the frame rate and it's not really necessary for uh, astrophotography or planetary imaging also uncheck the, uh, the exposure and auto gain so uncheck that uh, use these little slide knobs and play around until you find something that that works well for you also if this is your first time trying to find focus it'd be better to uh, take a terrestrial object or possibly even the moon if you can find it and have the moon out there to, to uh, find your focus click the uh, save button and it will remember the settings that you have Here's some raw footage of the uh, shots I took. One thing to note on the raw footage and then you see the uh, actual shot is the uh, focal length that I used was F10. And I tried it on a smaller uh, focal uh, size at F6 and it didn't quite have enough focal length to reach focus. So keep that in mind when you uh, uh, use this. If your telescope is f6 or, or f6 or less, you may have to use a Barlow. Uh, the moon raw footage, I noticed that there's like a little square in the center of it. Uh, there may be some stuff that I need to do uh, to maybe get that little square out of there. 
but for the uh, first time of using this uh, do-it-yourself camera, you know, for 15 bucks, it's uh, actually looking uh, very good. Uh, here's a shot of uh, Saturn RAW footage, and then after uh, processing that Saturn, it turned out actually very well. Uh, what I'll do in the upcoming videos is I'll show you how I achieve uh, these photos. Take some shots with your own do-it-yourself planetary camera. Please uh, post those. I would like to see your results and any kind of uh, suggestions to help improve uh, my planetary imaging or anybody else's. I would greatly appreciate it. If this is your first time watching. I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.